to you, all American. William, blow out your candles. Congratulations, make Blasco. A wish. It's Alles good, that's a good start, Herr Blasco. Let's make this year. Also, that's a good start, Gingel. Max. Happy birthday, Terra Billy. Max. Happy birthday, Terra Billy. Happy birthday, Terra Billy. Alles good, that's a good start, Herr Blasco. William, blow out your candles. Make a wish. Max. Captain Space Fit. Yeah! <laughs> Didn't think I'd make it this long. Well, here's to Brother Blaskowitz, toughest motherfucker I ever met. Terrible! That's some hot damn good banana cream pie Max right there. Max made! Max off! <laughs> <Aww. laughs> now, here's some wicked love. <laughs> oh, the Lord, I was gonna tear a hole in poor old Horton's tummy. <laughs> Boys! <laughs> So, how was Venus? Did you bring me back anything? Well, the uh, souvenir shop was closed, but brought you this. Holy shit, Blaskowitz. Well, I absolutely must tell you about the silverfish. Is that the name of the It's a very small. <laughs> Seagram! Yes, Paul Quicks! Listen, I'm gonna need your Nazi eyeballs on this one. I am not a Nazi! Whatever. Look, I'm trusting you to decrypt the Odin codes so we can disable the defense system and hijack the outsmarts. Yes, for Chris, but please stop calling me a Nazi. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt your Nazi feelings? Suck it up, princess. You still here? We're <laughs> going. Oh, what the fuck? God damn it. Oh, shit, now it's on. Brothers and sisters, thank you very much. Tomorrow we are gonna shoot Nazis until we run out of bullets. But tonight, tonight is for Blaskowitz. Hey! 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 Horton starts with corn, and on occasion we've done barley, but I think, well, I like rye, but he usually does corn, and then we... William, wake up, William. Oh, baby, please. Every sound feels like a bullet to the head. What's going on? Why it's gone missing. Blazkowicz. You have to track them down. I still have to get my shit together for the mission. Come on! We've been looking whole night, but we can't find them anywhere. You have to find them before we move out. Okay. I just need to get a little bit of sleep. An hour, okay?
everyone. Wyatt has gone missing. Captain Blaskowitz is conducting a search. Wyatt, where's your head at, son? Retired early last night, so I know nothing of where Wyatt went. Have you asked my sister Hoshi? Oh, Mr. Blaskovich, I hear Wyatt went missing. I'm gonna find him, right, Yingle? I'm, I'm a little worried about this boy, Chuck. Okay. I like Wyatt. He has a very interesting mind. Don't know where to find him, but I hope you do. I hear you're looking for Wyatt. I can't help you, darling. I haven't seen him. You should speak with Horton. He usually knows everything. As a writer, I have habit of observing people. I have observed our friend, Max. I see big sadness inside of him. Whatever we can do to help him is good. I know Max has love of toys. Maybe you keep eye open for toys when you're out fighting Nazis? Please, do this for Max, Mr. Blaskovich. Hey man, got a moment? Now listen to this, B. We managed to intercept a transmission detailing all of the construction material they shipped over to planet Venus. Get this. On the list is a fully functional battle walker. They gotta be using it for painting ceilings or some shit. I mean, who the fuck knows? Anyway, you should check out the brief on the war map. Good luck out there, B. Okay, Max. Come. You and me? Play some footy. Big sauce. No, Max. No sad face today. Come. Let's play. Big sauce. Do you not think I see it? Now you take the easy way out? Do you not think I've been there too? To see my friends. No. Nope. Not seen Wyatt since last night in the canteen. Ooh, Wyatt has some weight, lad. Oh, Terribly dark issues. And crawl into the dark hole in my mind and stay yeah, there till life means nothing. Do you have any idea what I've had to do to keep myself from breaking? To pull myself up? To block the pictures out? And when I see you sad like this, Greg Wyatt just gone to sleep off the angle, like the rest of us. Because the pictures come back and makes me sad, and I Growing up in New Orleans, darling, is to be welcomed to the most beautiful place in the world. Because the next time to watch it burn. I won't come out. Cap, check it out. You know that Nazi bunker in Manhattan? Pigs use it as the base of operations. Well, we intercepted a transmission detailing all of the combat equipment they got stashed up in there. Get this. On the list is a fully operational constrictor harness. You should check out the brief on the wall map, man. For real. information about Wyatt's whereabouts, go talk to the professor. She's hey, usually on top of it. I might have some information for you. Hey, Paris Jack. So you seen Wyatt around? I saw him late last night. 
he was not doing well. Gosh, Paris. Oh, your music is like liquid gold dripping into my ear, man. Just drip. Like, where'd you learn to play like that? The streets of New Orleans were alive with music. You carried the gift and the music would just slip into your bloodstream. A master in that gift, playing without ever hitting a single bluey. And that took practice. Years and years of practice. And a bucket load of discipline. I learned to play the clarinet back at school. The only thing they teach you in school is how to be a good slave to the system, son. Musically or otherwise. Man, I'm... Well, yeah, your music, man, it's like cosmic. It's like riding on space winds. It's like really messing with my mind, you know? I mean, it makes me feel... Uh, it makes me feel a bit uh, nauseous, actually. Oh! oh! <coughs> Bruh. Why you keep doing this to yourself, son? What? I seen you partake when you think nobody's watching. It's cool, man. I mean, I'm exploring. I'm just widening my horizons with the mind, you know? You ain't built for it. Jeez. You don't understand, Paris. You can't presuppose what I understand. This is about the universe. I mean, this is important. There are things that I need to make sense of. Son. The only thing in this universe that makes sense is the sweet sound of music. You don't get it, man. So, you saw him walking toward the shooting range. Mm-hmm. Looked like he was heading for a trip. Uh, thanks. Wyatt, I need to think now. No, I remember no Wyatt. Greetings to you. I might have seen Wyatt in passing, mister, but I was wasted out of my head, so I didn't notice any particulars. I looked for Wyatt in the shooting range. I saw him heading there. Wyatt strikes me as a good kid in over his head. I hope you find him. Should head to the shooting range. Look for Wyatt. Wyatt looked a little unhappy last night. Perhaps he tried to perk himself up. I think playing pool is a real spirit lifter, but I don't know him too well. You're happy now, Pig. Getting used to underwater living. Glad you got a pig on board, though.
Thanks. book and crawl away and die somewhere for all I care. Max Hoss. I have one major pet peeve, Max, and it's bad metaphors in literature. Have a listen to this. George went to work on her rose bush like a gardener in springtime. Oh, I mean, excuse me, Mr. Highfalutin author, but I'm reading your erotic mystery novel to get turned on, not the exact opposite. Max Hoss. I'm just a bit upset, is all, Max. Max Hoss. A lady doesn't kiss and tell, darling. Nice sauce. But since I've never been much of a lady, I might as well just tell you. I had a bit of a romantic encounter with your friend Bombate last night. Yeah, and it seemed to me that we had a certain something going on. But the next thing I know, I am wrapped up in some sort of rivalrous triangle with that Nazi girl. I mean, how was I supposed to know he was spoken for? Exos? You're right, Max. He's nothing but a no-good womanizer. Bless his heart. And I should just... put him out of my mind. Ever feel like everything she is nipples like two pink rose Existence is just a broken record, repeating and over and over if for I all of time. Shoot. That's a bleak album. So, you've been to another planet, but have you ever been to Sweden in the summer? The little guy died this morning. He didn't eat his cheese. Starved to death. 
So it goes. Why? Who? Hmm? You. I'm talking to you, Wyatt. Oh, the kid. Yeah, he's not here anymore. He went looking for the truth, but he didn't like what he found. Look, uh, you're talking crazy, man. You gotta get with the program. We need you. We're moving out. Come on, Wyatt. The kid's father had his future all staked out for him. Ivy League straight to the top of congressional power. Cut him off when he joined the military. Ungrateful brat, he called him. The kid's mother fell into a depression in that big, dark house. Same day the kid shipped off for Europe, she swallowed a bottle of pills. And that was it. That was that. I'm gonna take you to Sen. He's gonna fix you right up. You're, you're just a little confused is all. Come on now. No, 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 Wyatt. Come on now. Wyatt. I'm your buddy, remember? He saw perfect patterns. Swallowing branches of a great tree. The all-knowing space entity at the center gazing upon him. Uh, uh, the kid is approaching the apex of the universe, uh, but it all slipped away. <laughs> and a colossal black trench opened up, swallowing the colors, and the kid couldn't see anything except for a trans-dimensional gaping maw swallowing his soul. Oh, nothing matters anymore, man. Oh, sunset for humanity. <laughs> Tell him that he's sorry. Tell him. Tell him that he loved him. Okay. Oh shit. What's wrong with him? A uh, heavy dosage of psychedelics. Now listen to this. Back in the days of Das Yichid, we used similar substances many times. Never, ever, anyone had the clarity of vision that Wyatt has. It's remarkable. Will he be okay? Well, uh, I'm flushing his system right now. You should be fine. Is this some kind of a doorknob set? Yep. No, 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 Jingle. No, what did you say? Wyatt. Don't ever forget who you are, man. Don't forget who we are. Don't forget what we are, soldier. I feel much better now, Cap. Back in my own body. You realize you're still wearing your party hat? I had to, uh... I had to punch you out. I'm sorry. Yeah, I remember that. Needed it, I guess. Doorknob, he says. Hey, Wyatt. Love you, man. My brothers and sisters, check this out. In less than six hours, Frau Engel is going to make a scheduled appearance on the Jimmy Carver Show, live from Hollywood, California. Now, while that bitch is getting her ass kissed on national television, we're gonna infiltrate the Ausmercer, disable the Odin defense system, and hijack her ship. And then we find that bitch, and we take her out. What you got? Frau Grace, I decrypted the Odin codes Herr Bleskovich brought back from Venus. Turns out, it's just one simple word. Valhalla. Type in Valhalla in any of the Odin terminals, and you will have permission to shut down the automated defense systems. Well, all right. Now, fuck off, Nazi. Like I was saying, we are going to find that bitch, and we are going to take her Grace! out. What? Don't ever call me a Nazi again. I am not a Nazi. You do oh. not have the right to label me as something I am not, as someone less than yourself, as someone less than human. Say it! Say I'm not a Nazi! All oh, right. Okay, I get it. You're not a Nazi. And you... I'm in love. 
office, you... Don't you understand, Seth? You dumb idiot! And it hurts. It hurts that you are so stupid you don't love me back. But I will dry the tears from my eyes. Get over it and move on. Because I don't need you to be happy. I will just be mentally using your body from time to time for my own personal pleasure. And there's nothing you can do about that, Sigrun. But I'm leaving, okay? No way! Don't be silly. Oh, you coming with us? All right, Sig. You're the expert here. Lay it out for us. We have to approach fast and low. That will buy us time before we are detected by Odin's radar. Once we are directly below the Outsmerzer, we must ascend rapidly and vertically. This will give us the greatest chance of surviving Odin's opening salvo. If we are lucky, we make it back out before Odin has a missile lock on us. I will follow your lead. We're in. There are three different Odin control centers on the Ausmerzer. Two of them controlling the automated defense system. The Hugen control center for the port defenses. The Munin control center for the starboard defenses. Finally, there's the Odin main control center for the ship itself. Understood. How do we get to them? There's a terminal concealed in the floor in the center of the room, which will open the door leading to the Hugen control center. Found it. The other parts of the ship are harder to access from your location. Bring up the ship's schematics in the terminal and see if there's a way to reach them, Anya. William, find a Hogan control center and shut down the port defense system. I'll stay here and try to figure out our way around this ship.
Well done, William. The port defense systems are offline. Get back here as soon as possible. I think I found a way to reach our other objectives. <laughs> 